So for the last few months, I've been moving into a new shop, um, which hasn't made for great content, but finally getting settled in and learning how the new space is changing my workflows. And one of the things it's done is made this drill press a lot more accessible. That one there. So I've had this for a long time, but it kind of got buried in the old shop, which was just half of a two car garage and really became just more of a weird shelf than anything else. But now it's really accessible and that's great because it's nice to have something other than the, the mill to use as a big drill press. So I've been trying to set it up. I've been wanting to get some nice clamps for it. Um, I'm looking for those cool old float lock vices, but I haven't found one in a good enough condition at a price I like yet. So I got one of these, which also looks like it'll be useful. Um, you know, it just clamps in through the slot there. So there are a couple problems. This nut is too wide. Okay, see, it's too wide to get in between those. So I either have to put a spacer in there or something, but I just want something with a narrower throat there. And the other thing is, it's freaking hideous. I mean, it's kind of weird, like the machine on it is just fine. The machine surfaces are great, but this casting, this rough surface, it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna make a replacement. So here's the basic idea in a terrible sketch. Um, one inch cold roll for the body, drill and tap that. And then I'm gonna cut slots and an X on the top so I can make a little cross handle with this stock, this half inch, which I think used to be the, uh, the railing on a friend's porch a long time ago. It's been bouncing around in my stock collection for a long time, so let's get started. There we go. Still a bit rough in places. I could spend several more hours cleaning this up, but the simple truth is it will never be seen once it's attached. Here we are under the drill press table. But uh, yeah, that was fun. I mean, look at what I've accomplished. 
Do you think a depressed person could make this? 